Hey everyone, Joey Kissimmee here with IncomePress.com and this is a DIY video of the week. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to create one of these fading out image effects here that you see right in, in my widget area. Now ever since I added this here, everyone's been asking me left and right where I got this from, how I did it, and how I make this uh, the fading out effect work, uh, work like that, right? So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and show you exactly how I did it. I'm even going to provide you with the exact images that you see right here. And I'm also going to give you the source code to go with it. That way you don't have to go out there and break your head trying to figure out how to do this. Okay. Now, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel or anywhere else, uh, you're going to need to go to my blog in order to get these files or these images and the source code. Okay. It's easy. Just go ahead and go to incompress.com and then, you know, look for this uh, post and, and you'll find it there. Okay. So let's go ahead and proceed with the tutorial. All right. Cause it's really not that difficult or, or hard to do. It's, it's pretty quick. So first thing you're going to need to do right below this video, you're going to see a downloadable link. Okay. That's a, a zip file with all these images here and some extra images there as well okay so go ahead and download that and you're gonna need to unzip it once you download it and once you unzip it open up the folder and you're gonna see these uh, the files there okay now you're gonna it's gonna look something like this all right uh, for each color there's actually two images okay that's how you get that fading out in uh, effect all right and one of the images is actually faded and then the other one is full color and solid and the way to tell them apart is easy the, the name right there you'll see blue start here shade and then the other one says blue start here solid the same thing goes for the green ones okay you'll see there's uh, shade and solid and then the same thing for the reds so what you do here all right let me just go ahead and uh, drag this over to the side here okay now, what you're going to do here is you can either upload it to like an S3 Amazon account, a photo bucket, or any uh, place where it allows you to uh, host uh, these files. Okay. I like to go ahead and just place them on my WordPress uh, site. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you how to do it this way. It's just a lot easier. All right. Just go ahead and go to your admin back office. Go to media right here, the media tab, and then just go ahead and click on add new. All right. Now you can either select each file individually or just do like I do where I just go ahead and drag and drop each uh, the whole thing right there. It's just a lot easier. That's, now once it's done, just go ahead and leave it there. OK, because you're actually going to need this page here in just a few here. All right. But for now, go back to the, the post and right below this video, you're going to see uh, the source code. OK, it's going to look something uh, like this here. OK, so just go ahead and copy the entire thing there. OK, and put it into like a source code editor or a text editor or something like that. Or just do like I do. I actually use, you know, WordPress for pretty much everything here. Go ahead and, and right here, hover over the new tab and then just right click. OK, on the post and open a new window. OK. Uh, you, the reason for this is because you're going to need this page here in just a few. All right. And you don't want to exit out of it. All right. So just trust me, it's a lot easier this way. So go ahead and go to the new post. All right. You're not going to publish a post or anything. This is just a, a sample thing. You're going to throw it in the garbage here after this. All right. So once you're here, just go ahead and uh, click on this HTML. All right. Because it's always going to be on visual. Make sure the tab is it's on HTML and then just go right here and uh and just paste it there that's all you're gonna do all right and now you're gonna start editing the source code all right each little source code right here right above this uh br br this little code just means a, a breaker line all right each of these are one specific image okay so each image you could put it in whatever order that you want you don't have to do it like i do it you put it in whatever order that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and do it randomly here. All right. Just to go ahead and show you how it's done. All right. So the first line of code that you're going to edit is this one right here. You see where it says blog post link here. All right. This is where you're actually going to put the blog post that you want to link uh, that image to. All right. In other words, uh, when people click on it, it'll go to whatever specific post you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm already on the post right here. You can go ahead and, and find whatever one you want. I'm just going to go ahead and right up here, highlight the, the entire, uh, you know, uh, domain name link. And then right here, 
just go ahead highlight that thing delete it and then just go ahead and paste uh, the link there all right now the second thing you're gonna do is start adding the image here okay you're basically telling the source code where to pick up the the image from all right so right here the second line of code you're gonna see is shade image here all right very simple so just go back to your uh, media file area here this is why I told you not to go ahead and get away from this page because you're gonna need it so what you're gonna do is look for the one that says shade all right right there blue start here shade go ahead and click on show right down here where it says file URL go ahead and highlight that entire thing copy it bring it on over and right here just go ahead all right delete the whole thing and then paste the, the image link right there now you're gonna do it again on this third line of code not the second one third line just scroll over right here where it says shade image here all right you're gonna delete that and paste the, uh, the link again right there okay now the second source uh, line of, uh, of code is right here where it says solid image okay now obviously right you're gonna go ahead just click on this hide here and then right where the one that says solid go ahead and click on show and do the exact same thing okay highlight that entire link copy it and then paste it right here where it says solid image general you got to be careful you don't erase these little commas or quotations okay if not the source code will not work so just go ahead and delete that copy that source code there and then you're pretty much done okay now that's one image and one link okay you're gonna do the exact same thing for this second image here do the exact same thing here uh, copy and paste the, the the post link that you want and the images here and then you're gonna do the same thing there okay very simple uh easy and straight to the point guys okay once you're done editing and putting the links and images and everything like that just go ahead and highlight the entire thing okay go ahead and go uh, you know copy it highlight the entire thing copy it and then go right over here to where it says appearances all right go to your widget area and once you're here wherever your primary sidebar is okay mine's is right there as you can see i got a, a ton of them all right right there what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy and paste it in that area but you're gonna need a widget for this okay so right down here where it says available widgets just go ahead and scroll down to where you see text okay so you're gonna go ahead grab that all right left click and hold it just like i'm doing right there go right up to the top and then just put it wherever you want okay i'm gonna go ahead and put it right there all right and then all you're gonna do is just paste that code right there okay click on save then go to your uh your blog post go ahead and click on refresh all right and then just see if everything looks good go ahead and hover over it make sure it's actually doing that effect that you want and then go ahead and click on it uh, just to make sure that it's working properly and it's going to the actual posts uh that you want it to go to okay like this one is you know it says new here start here i got it going to uh, my getting started page all right and that's pretty much it that's exactly how you do it guys as you can see it was very simple uh and, and very straightforward okay <laughs> maybe it took a little bit longer but it's because i was explaining but it's very simple, all right? I'm giving you the exact images that I have here plus some additional ones. And I actually have some with just the color, without any text, without any little hidden images there. It's just the color itself, just the red, um, uh, blue, and then the green one, okay? So if you wanna do it on your own, like add your own little text to it, your own little images, Go ahead and do so or if you don't know how to do it go ahead and go to uh, like fiverr.com uh, all right and they could actually do it for you for five bucks all right just go ahead and find someone there that's uh that knows how to mess with photoshop all right and you can just tell them hey i've got three little images here that i need you to add some text to all right and then you just tell them whatever text that you want uh, to put there to go ahead and do it for five bucks and then that's it all right make sure that you tell them that you want one of them faded at 50 percent opacity all right and then the other one just regular at full uh, full color okay 
So uh, with that said, that's pretty much it here for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, this week's DIY video. Okay, and if you could do me a solid, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I always put out cool little videos like this, cool little tutorial and DIY videos. Uh, and go ahead and, and you know and like the video and comment on it. If you're on my blog, do me a, a real good uh, solid and go ahead and share it with people. Like the page and leave me a comment. Okay, maybe there's a, a specific color that you want that I didn't provide for you uh, maybe there's a, a text that you may want to add there you know I'll be more than happy to go ahead and create some new colors for you and some new text you know uh, just for you nothing custom like you know um, hey this is Billy Bob click here you know something generic like this here where it says new here start here resources popular you know maybe a products one uh, you know a contact one I don't know so uh, whatever you guys want I'm here for you guys okay and any questions just go ahead and ask me down in the comments below so with that said this is Joey Kissimmee peace I love you for free and I'll see you on the next